Okay, so these are the uh, H-beam legs that are available on all of the Miller Rotator range. So the, uh, the advantage of these, quite a big advantage of them, is that if you're pretty close to something, so a crash barrier or a trailer or something, wouldn't work in this situation that we've done because we needed to move in. But we can get a lot closer because the leg will go underneath the trailer. It also has a bigger footprint because the legs are on an angle and they cross over each other underneath. Also what you'll see on the back is a, a four-stage leg on this machine versus the other machine that's in front has the three-stage rear leg and it's got the outrigger type front leg. So this is a great shot where you can see the difference. So the top bit here, the crane, is the same. Same with uh, 1140, 1150, 1060, 1075. All have the same platform and the same options for you. So if you see uh, Callum going to take this leg in, you'll see that it comes in in stages. If you're doing a side winch, there's a, there's a hole there where you put a pin through it. So if you're doing a big side winch, you have to make sure that this leg's pinned off. There's a spade attachment that goes on the end of here, or you can put these larger pads on that are more ground friendly. So these just got little brackets on that slide onto the bottom of the leg. Uh, different leg attachments for those different legs. Independently operated, you can let one up, one down. You can work with one in, one out. The machine is most stable with its legs all the way out, but if you're working in a live road situation, you need to have your legs in the other side. Just need to be aware that you can't lift quite as much with it in, but still perfectly functional. Whereas with cranes, this type of crane won't allow you to work if you've got a set of legs in. So rotator versus crane, that's where one of the big advantages is. Um, you see him with his back leg now. What we did with the rear leg to make sure that we'd got maximum stability is that we put an extra block under it. So we had the leg preloaded before we tried to lift this big crane. So that, that helped us with our stability. So uh, Callum's just gonna take that up now. So it'll go up and then you'll, you'll see him fire it in. And then we'll be ready then to um, start moving this trailer around. So just going to talk a little bit about the um, winch setups on these two machines. As I said, 1075 cranes, um, different options on the winches. So the one on my left here, the Saunders truck, has a five winch system. The one on my right here, the Manchips truck, has a four winch system, but quite different. So the, the Saunders truck here has the two main boom winches and then two turret winches that sit underneath that. So all four winches are on the boom and all come out to fair leads on the end here. So the, uh, the winches are all able to run from there. And then the, we have the fifth winch, is the drag winch that's mounted just forward of where the SDU underlift is mounted. So we have a drag winch system here that can be used to pull stuff towards us in conjunction with the boom. On this truck on my right hand side, we just have the two main boom winches, but we have two drag winches on this one. So two drag winches out the back, but they can also, because these the fair leads swivel all the way around, what we can actually do if we need to is send those winches up to the boom to a snatch block so we can still achieve four winches in the air off of this machine and we can achieve five winches in the air off of that machine. Always steal with a separate underlift that can be also operated independently. So both of these trucks have the SDU underlift so very versatile recovery vehicle with a very good lift and tow capability. So what we're doing now is just um, going back over the, the loading height. So we've moved the axles back again, just so that you can see how this thing would get loaded. And we're going back to the unload position now. So you can probably hear in the background that the air suspension's on its way down. Tailboard's been put down hydraulically and then the front of the trailer you'll see start to level out a little bit. So I'll just move out a shot a little bit. So it's a bit of a patience game between the suspension and the hydraulics for moving it forward when it's got something this heavy on it. We're um, right well past its payload, but on its payload. So what you'll see is the, um, the back of it start to come down more and a nice loading angle for the crane to be rolled off on.
Of course, if this had been for real and the crane really wasn't a runner, then we'd have had to be picking it back off with another crane again. But thankfully, we haven't got to because the crane's still good. OK, so uh, we talked earlier on about, before we were lifting the crane, about how we would get these legs out if it wasn't under its own power to be able to wrap those chains around that you saw that we did earlier on. So there's a panel just here that just got some um, little Allen bolts in it that quite easily will come undone. Once you've taken all of those out, this panel then lifts off and lifts out the way. And then just in here, is a, um, there's a pin that runs through that, that's the ram that pushes the leg in and out. So what you can do is, I'm, I'm not actually going to do it, but if we were to take those circlips off, we can knock that pin out of there. And then there's a gap just underneath here that you could either get a little porter power ram or if you were running the machines that we were running here, when, when you've got one alongside it, you could maybe even run your drag winch out just around the bottom of this leg and just pull them out. So that will allow you to pull that leg out not very far, you know, maybe a foot or so, but that will be enough for you then to be able to get your chain around it. So the crane's off, all unloaded, all safe and sound, everything's all good. Uh, just, you can see the operation perhaps of the trailer now, uh, with no weight on it, so tailboard's up. Axle's just coming back in to shot now, so... It just, um, the suspension's pumped itself back up again. So the vehicle any moment now will be back in its travelling stage and ready to go off for its next job.